Hello everyone, we are back in Taipei from our trip to the Philippines. We are super happy to be here in what we call home. It's been three months and we are comfortable calling Taipei our home now. Yesterday we got back to start to teaching English. We went to our first classes for this week and they were fantastic. And that's what we're going to talk about in February. Teaching English here in Taiwan and what it's like to teach English. Today, I want to answer the question, can you teach English without any experience? That's what I did. Let's go. Yes, you can. I came here without any experience teaching other than the TEFL course, and I've had no problems. My biggest thing so far is classroom management, which is something you don't learn in the TEFL course. You learn through experience. And other than that, though, I'm really starting to get the hang of it because there are so many resources here to help me out. And I've had a wonderful support system, both from Lucy and from the teachers that are here. When you get here, wherever you go, you end up learning as you go. You, you get thrown into the deep end. The TEFL course is going to prepare you a little bit, but it, you have to just learn as you go. You get a bit of time, hopefully, to observe and see new things, but then you have to go and you learn from your students, you work with them, you learn how they are, you learn how to teach them, and each class is completely different. All that comes together and you begin, after three months now, starting to get a sense of what it's like to teach. The first two weeks were the most stressful. Being here in a new city, uh, in a very overwhelming city with so many people, so many new things, so, so much of everything, plus having to learn to teach and to figure out uh, everything we had to do with teaching at the same time was the most stressful feeling. I remember that first day of teaching and I was just anxious out of my mind. It's one of the most anxious times I've been in a long time. And that feeling has stuck with me. But, but, big but, it has gotten so much better. It has gotten so much easier. Day after day, you learn a bit more. You, um, you learn how to work with those students better. You learn the classroom management as you do it. This is something that you're not going to be able to figure out and study beforehand and be perfect at it. This is a career where you learn and you do on the job. If you don't have previous experience and you're coming to this country or to any country to teach English, that is okay. It's something that you have to learn as you go. Being a barista beforehand is very similar. If you come with the knowledge of uh, coffee and, or teaching skills and try to impose those on a new school or a new place, you're going to really struggle in that place. You're going to have to relearn everything. But if you come with a clean slate, you're able to build up those new skills based off of what the school has, what those students are like, and build new experiences from them. If you're thinking about coming to a foreign country and teaching English, but you don't have experience, come. Please come. There's jobs here. You'll enjoy it. You'll love it. You'll experience something completely new, and it will be a fantastic experience for you. Thank you for watching the video today. Hope you got something from it and that it is possible to teach abroad without any experience. It's not really a problem even. You'll have a great time here or wherever you choose to go. In the meantime, if you liked our video, subscribe down below, give us a like, it really helps out. And let us know in the comments your anxieties and fears about teaching abroad. Maybe we can help you out and talk about it later this month. On Thursday, Lucy's gonna talk about what it's like to teach abroad as an ESL person herself. That's all we have for you today. Have a great day.